Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you how my little experiment here for the first time ever, how I turn this riced cauliflower, um, which was a steam and bag that I found at Save-A-Lot for a dollar fifty, thirty, I don't remember, um, into mashed potatoes. Because I had a leftover pork chop and I wanted some mashed potatoes, but I'm like, oh, all those carbs. And then I remembered, hey, you got a bag of cauliflower in your freezer, turn that into mashed potatoes. So what I did was, you could cook this on the stove, or um, you can cook it in the microwave. You just have to get a microwave-safe bowl, okay? If you steam it, it it's not going to have that mushy baby food texture that you're going to need, okay? It's going to bounce back, and it's going to feel a little rubbery if you just steam it. We want that mushy baby food texture, okay? So I emptied the contents into um, a microwave-safe bowl. I put enough water just to cover it, okay? Don't go over the cauliflower, just enough to cover it, okay? I cooked it in the microwave for 10 minutes. I got it out. I tested it between my fingers. It was still a little not mushy, okay? So I put a little bit of garlic and onion powder. Put whatever spices you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but you want the spices to cook. You don't want them, you don't want to add them at the end because they can be a little gritty. We don't want that. So I mixed it all up really good. Sorry, you guys, I forgot to film this part. And I popped it in the microwave for another five and a half minutes. And that gave me the texture that I needed. When I felt, when I pinched it between my fingers, it was the texture I wanted. We want the mushy texture, okay? So what I did is I mixed everything together, mixed it well, got rid of some of the liquid, okay? You, can, you don't have to add water. You could put um, any kind of broth or stock. Okay, um, low sodium, reduced sodium, no sodium, uh, regular, organic, it doesn't matter. I would put half and half if you don't want it to be too strong of a taste. Okay, I would put half water and half, you know, uh, broth or stock. Okay, so what I did is I took it out of the bowl. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, sorry guys, the lighting. It's mushy. Okay, so I added in about, I just made enough for a serving, you guys. Uh, this is an experiment. If all doesn't go well, oh well. Okay, so I added like a tablespoon and a half of milk. You don't have to. Um, butter um, and sour cream. Okay, I'm going to mix it and then we're going to see the end result. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So this is the end result. Um, I threw in some um, chopped chives. So like I said, there was sour cream in there, milk, um, spices, and, and, and butter and stuff. So I just made sour cream and onion mash out of this right here, you guys. Okay, Walmart sells just cauliflower in a bag for like a dollar. It's next to the broccoli. Okay, go to the frozen food section. Go to veg veggies, vegetables, whatever. And they're going to have a bag. Um, and it has nothing but cauliflower florets in there. Uh, boil those up until they turn into like a mushy texture. Add in whatever you want. It doesn't have to be the riced cauliflower. But if you can only find riced cauliflower, look what I turned it into. Look how creamy that is. And you guys, it is so delicious. Look at that. I made some pork chops. And I got my gravy here. So, look how creamy that is. I put it in the food processor. You can put it in whenever, whatever you guys like. If you guys have a Ninja, a blender, a magic bullet, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just put it in there. Okay? And look, you guys. I turned these little beads which were very you know they just chopped up the vegetable they were hard and into this and this is the um i'm gonna show you the back 
four grams of carbohydrates, minus the fiber, two grams per serving. And a serving is a third cup. Now, keep in mind, I just added milk, I added butter, and I ad added sour cream. So, but it's still a lot healthier and a lot better than mashed potatoes, okay? So, I'm going to add some gravy to this. I saved this gravy from the meatloaf that I buy, if you want to go check that video out. Look at that. That is delicious and healthy, you guys. You guys should try it. Take care, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.